Hi, my name is Seth, I'm a first year medical student from the University of Sunderland and also a biochemistry graduate from Lancaster University. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I got first classes in my essays, literature reviews and in my dissertation in my undergraduate degree and how I got 90% in a literature review during my first year Sunderland degree. When it comes to writing scientifically, it can be quite difficult to know where to start and also what path to follow. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I sort of organise this and come out with decent grades in the end. Again, full disclosure, this is just how I make my way through it. It's not necessarily the best way, but it's just something that works for me and it's important to find something that also works for you. And this method isn't necessarily essay or literature review specific because I tend to use it for both anyway. But what I firstly do is when I've, given a, when I've been given a title or come up with a title, I'll sort of research the broader scope of the area looking at literature reviews. That way I can sort of understand where primary papers might agree and disagree with each other, what people's findings are what pioneering papers said in comparison to what more contemporary papers are saying. I know what the topic is about and I can sort of relay that information on in my essay as well because the last thing you want to do is make it look like you don't know what you're talking about. When it comes to finding literature reviews and even primary papers where I normally go is PubMed and from there I look at my way through literature reviews firstly so I can understand the topic then I look at primary research and I normally filter this down to recent papers unless it's pioneering papers or very significant papers. And even then, when I have papers that aren't that recent, I tend to have more contemporary papers that can back that information up as well. And that's pretty much how I source the information, but when it comes to extracting the information, so deciding what's important and what's not, I'll go through the documents and open up two pretty much Word documents on my laptop. One will be where I just have important information, and the other one will be sort of a scaffold or a template for my actual essay. In the scaffold, it'll pretty much just have the introduction, main body and the conclusion, and that will essentially be the same in the information one. But in the information one, I'd have the raw information with the URLs. And then in the essay, I would sort of reword and talk about that information in the, in the essay or the literature review. I don't really bother with referencing in the information document. Instead, I'd sort of go back to that URL, put it into the citation manager, extract that and put it into the, put it into the main document. And you can use various citation software such as Cite This For Me, or if your university has a subscription to EndNote, you could use that. And this is obviously much more efficient than writing about manually yourself. I for one normally just start the essay from the introduction down to the conclusion because having read the literature reviews I normally understand the topic anyway so I feel like I can pour out a good introduction and I can tweak it along the way anyway. Whereas I know some people like to sort of start on the main body and work their way back to the introduction retrospectively which is fair enough because again if it works for you then that's fine. Once I've pretty much written my initial essay it will be just tweaking that, looking at ways to improve it and sometimes if I've got time I'd look back at primary papers and additional reviews to see if there's anything that I've not really considered yet. And pretty much it was the same thing for writing my literature review for my first year in medicine. And that's pretty much it for my essay writing technique, it doesn't really need to be more complex than that really. When it comes to writing things such as dissertation I guess there's a lot more to consider and I'll make a future video on that. Hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you in that next video.